This is a good one. 1901. Leon Salgas. Sal Salgas. Yeah, I got it. Fuck yeah. Shoots President McKinley. After Leon's arrested, he says, I'm a disciple of Emma Goldman. Just like when the New Zealand shooter said, I was radicalized by Candace Owens. Now, Leon had met Goldman a few times. And now you can only imagine the president's shot. Emma sitting at home reading this paper. It's like, oh, I need this shit. So she goes into hiding. Lots of other, he identifies himself as an anarchist. Lots of other anarchist leaders are arrested. And the government and the nation wants to prove that there was this anarchist conspiracy to murder President McKinley. Well, he hasn't died yet. And we want to believe, just like, well, just like with Lincoln and uh, the conspiracy with Lee Harvey Oswald and Marie Surratt, we want to believe that you can't really just have like one crazy person walk up to the president and shoot him, right? That's not a thing. There's got to be planning and plotting and secret bunkers. So eventually, she pretended to be, the, the police were looking for her. She pretended to be a, I think, Swedish maid. And they found a pen that had her initial or something like that. And they're like, what does this mean? She goes, it means the jig is up. So they arrest her. And they're trying desperately to prove a connection between them. And Emma, here's her mugshot, says on the record, I feel very deeply with Leon <laughs> as an individual who suffers. If I had the means, I would help him as far as I could. I would see that he had counsel and that justice was done to him. After he was sentenced to death, she goes, my heart goes out to him in deep sympathy and to all the victims of a system of inequality and the many who will die the forerunners of a better, nobler, grander life. She also said Mark Hanna, who was McKinley's campaign manager and is widely regarded as the first modern day campaign manager and, and a Karl Rove of his time. Karl Rove, in fact, wrote a biography of Mark Hanna. He said, Mark Hanna has been the ruler of this country, not McKinley. McKinley has been the most insignificant ruler this country has ever had. He has neither wit nor intelligence, but has been a tool in the hands of Mark Hanna. Asked to denounce the murder. She said, I'm not in a position to say who ought to be killed. The monopolists and the wealthy of this country are responsible for the existence of a Salgaz. And she even said after she was arrested and in detention, I feel sure that the police are helping us more than I could do in 10 years. They are making more anarchists than the most prominent people connected with the cause could make in 10 years. If they will only continue, I shall be very grateful. They will save me lots of work. Let's break this down. Your acquaintance kills the president. You are arrested. And your response is, you know what? He's a tool. He's not clever. He's not cute. I feel bad for the gunman. It's not, it, the America made him shoot McKinley. And P.S. Fuck the police. <laughs> they let her go. And she was deported, I think, uh, 20 years later. And on that.